What's up, y'all? How you doing? It's your girl, P. Hope, and we are back in the house. We back in the house. Who is it? P. Hope and her fetus. We back, okay? And this week, <laughs> I want to play a little game with y'all. So get your paper out, get a pen out, and play along with me because at the end of this video, I want y'all to tell me what you think the gender of my baby is. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. My name is P. Hope. Um, if this is your first time stumbling across my channel, I want to say welcome in and thank you so much for stopping. And if you are a regular um, subscriber, if you are already in the P. Hope family, you already know, I want to say, hey, boo. Okay. Um, please do not hesitate at any time to hit that subscribe button, to hit the notification bell. I'm always out here promoting and asking for likes because it's all free 99. So, um, you know, it will definitely help your girl out if you just take your time and hit that like button. I would kindly appreciate it. I am trying to grow my channel and I cannot do it without you. Okay. So help your girl out, please. I'm just a single mother out here trying to make it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I'm about full. I'm about looking like a full day's work. So if I'm looking crazy, that's probably got a lot to do with it. The fact that, you know, I have worked all day today and um, I'm full on top of that. So my eyes might be a little low. But anyway, that has nothing to do with the reason that we are all here for this video. I wanted to play the baby prediction, the um the gender prediction game. I've seen a couple of people do it on the channel and I enjoyed, you know, guessing what the gender of their baby was going to be. So, I definitely did not want my P-Hope family to miss out on that opportunity to guess what I'm having, okay? So, um what I did was just look at some different sites that had the questionnaire and I decided to go with one from um today so if you're familiar with the with the morning show the today show this is from the today website that's where i got these questions from so um it says is it a boy or is it a girl try these tricks to guess your baby sick okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put i don't know how i want to do this i think i want to put the girls on this side and the boys on this side, okay? I think that's what I want to do. And so, as I answer these questions, if that's the symptoms or if I answer yes to that question, then that'll be a point for whatever gender it is, okay? And then we'll tally it up at the end. And regardless, if team girl gets more points or team boy gets more points, no matter what, you still drop down in the comment section and tell me what you think I'm having, okay? Do it look like your girl is carrying a little princess or a little king? Let me know. So anyway, um, let's get right into these questions. So they have separated it between questions for the girls and questions for the boys. So it starts off saying, these are the signs that you are having a girl. So, the first one is, you had morning sickness early in the pregnancy. That is a no for me. I did not have morning sickness. I talked to y'all last week. In last week's video, I told y'all I have never had morning sickness throughout this whole pregnancy. I had afternoon sickness. So, um, I don't want to give that like as a point for a boy. Only if when we get down to the boy questions, if they say something like that, then we will. Other than that, we just going to, you know, keep it moving. So, no. Not boy or girl don't get no point for that because I never experienced morning sickness with this pregnancy. Next question. Your baby's heart rate is at least 140 beats per minute. Okay. Um... Did I read that right? Your baby's heart rate 
is at least 140 beats per minute. Okay, so I'm not sure what. Y'all, am I being slow right now? Am I? Being, I feel like I feel like I'm kind of being slow right now. Uh, we just gonna come back to this question in a minute because I don't think it was me. I think it was the website, and you'll see that when we get over to the boy side of the question. So let's just move on. Next question: If you are carrying the weight in your hips or in your butt? No, that's not me. Your girl doesn't have any type of hips. And um, now I will say that I have grown out of my underwear, but I don't think that has anything to do with my derriere. I just think that that has a fact to do with my stomach because, you know, I'm having to incorporate my stomach in my underclothes. So, um, yeah, with my stomach growing, it's growing me out of my underclothes, but it's not my tail growing. It's the front. It's the front yard, not the back that's growing for me so no um that's a no for me on that question your left breast is larger than your right breast no as far as i could tell both of my breasts are evenly distributed uh you know one may be slightly bigger than the other but it's not it's not noticeable if it is so that's a no um Let's see, your hair develops red highlights. Now, um, you know, I did color my hair a couple of months ago, but that's the only color that my hair has done. You are carrying high. Yes, okay, so we finally have one point, one official point for team girl is that yes, I am carrying high, yes. Um, let's see. You are craving sweets. No, I don't crave a lot of sweets. Um, it's very rare that I just really want something sweet. I think maybe like, um, the week that I had to do my glucose test, I was really, really craving, um, sweets, but that was just that one time. And I think that that was more on some type of rebellion type of stuff. It's like, my doctor is telling me, make sure you stay away from sweets. So mentally, my mind was like, girl, you're a grown woman. If you want a piece of chocolate, go eat a piece of chocolate. You crave orange juice. No, I've, I haven't had any type of cravings for no orange juice, sorry. You don't look quite as good as normal during pregnancy. All right, there's another point for team girl because throughout this pregnancy, y'all, I feel like I have been looking extremely raggedy. Like, I feel like when people see me and my baby out together, they just look at us like, are you with your mom? Like, I know you didn't get her knocked up. I know you didn't get, I know you didn't, you're not the one that knocked her up. Like, that's how I feel when I'm out. And that's how I just feel in general. Even when I'm not with him, like, I just feel like, girl, you look crazy and people are out here looking at you crazy. I just, I haven't been able to get right. And I do, um, before I deliver, I do want to have a glow up stage where I just really go all out and pamper myself and make myself, you know, look pretty and feel pretty. But... Listen, I just haven't got there yet. Whew. So yes, that is definitely a point for team girl. You are moodier than usual during this pregnancy. Yes, I will definitely say I have been moody during this pregnancy, but it's not, it has not been an angry moody. I have just been very sensitive. Y'all, when I promise you, that everything my family does hurts my feelings. <laughs> I promise y'all, everything that they do hurts my feelings. Like, you know, if something is going on outside of my house, like if something is going on at work or something like that, that doesn't necessarily bother me. But my kids, 
oh excuse me my kids my mom my grandma my man like y'all every it's like everything dealing with them i have been very very sensitive i really have and you know I, i'm very open and i admit to them that look i know normally in a normal circumstances i wouldn't react this way but you know mom is just a little sensitive right now so work with me so yes that would be another point for team girl because i've definitely been moody your face breaks out more than usual. I actually talked about this last week in last week's video um, about how my cheeks have been um, really breaking out and I feel like it's a combination of the pregnancy and with me having a mask on for so many hours in the day. Um, yeah, and I talked about how dry my skin has been since I've been pregnant. So, yeah, that's definitely another point for a teen girl because the skin is not given. Your urine is a dull yellow color. Yes. So, I would definitely say that that's teen girl. <laughs> My urine is definitely a dull yellow. It's not, it's not bright at all. And the last one for teen girl says... You add your age at the time of conception and the number for the month that you conceived and the sum is an odd number. Okay, so at the time of conception, I was 40 years old. Okay, because I got pregnant in December of 2021. Okay. So, and then it says the number for that month that I conceived, December is 12. So, 12 goes into 40 three times without going over. Um, so, that would be an odd number. So, and now y'all tell me it's okay if I'm being slow right now because math was not my thing. So, y'all, if I just sat here and added this wrong, please drop down in the comment section and tell me um, if this is actually supposed to be a point for Team Boy, then, yeah, we need to flip that over there to Team Boy. But I think I added that right because, you know, yeah, 12. Yeah, listen, the math that I got going in my head, um, 12 can only go into 43 times without going over, and that will make it an odd number. But if I'm doing something wrong, like I said, y'all, I'm an open book. And I know I just told y'all I'm sensitive, but wrong is just wrong. Now, the signs if you're having a boy. All right, here we go. Number one, you did not experience morning sickness in early pregnancy. All right, I told y'all I never had morning sickness. So that is one point for team boy. Um, your baby's heart rate is less. Okay, see, see, they fixed it. They fixed it. Your baby's heart rate is less than 140 beats per minute. Okay, so I think I told y'all to put that point for team. What I say for team boy, right? So no, so that's actually what's supposed to be a point for team girl. So we're gonna have to take one point away from team boy and add it to team girl because I was wrong in the beginning, okay? Your baby's heart rate is less than 140 beats per minute. You're having a boy. I told y'all my, my baby's heart rate is 142. So that's actually team girl, okay? All right. You are carrying the extra weight out front. Most definitely. That is one point for teen boy. Your belly looks like a basketball. No, my belly, child, my belly looks like the letter B, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to go with the letter B because I have that um, separation right here at the navel so i like i love telling people child i got two stomachs and they love looking at me like i'm crazy i know a lot of you women know what i'm talking about but some of y'all are like girl what but yeah so 
No, I'm definitely don't have a basketball tummy. Your areolas have darkened considerably. No, they're still the same. Um, you are carrying low. No, I'm not carrying low. I'm carrying high. You are craving salty or sour foods. Yes, yes, yes. I told y'all I don't have cravings for sweets, but sour foods and salty foods. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sour, salty, spicy, that's me all day. All day. So that's definitely a point for Team Boy. All right? Um, you are craving protein, lots of meats and cheese. No, I've never been really big on meat. And I'm just kind of like moderate when it comes to cheese. So I would say no, um, that's not me. Your feet are colder than they were before you got pregnant. No. Well, <laughs> it would have been before I got subscribed my iron pills. But um, I would still go ahead and say no. That's that's not me. My feet are still regular temperature. The hair on your legs is grown faster during pregnancy. No. Y'all, I'm not a hairy person at all. So, um... With me being 41 years old, I have never shaved my legs a day in my life. And you can't see anything. There is, there's nothing there to look at. So, yeah, I don't have anything to shave. So, that would be a no. Your hands are very dry. <laughs> if you've watched a couple of my vlogs, you know, y'all know that I be going in about my hands. And since I have been pregnant, yes, my hands have definitely been severely dry. So that's definitely a point for Team Boy. Whew. The dad to be is gaining weight right along with you. Um, I'll go ahead and say no. Um, the only symptoms that Daddy got from this pregnancy is. He um, suffers from wet mouth. He doesn't. He didn't get any morning or afternoon sickness, but he does suffer from wet mouth. And um, what's the other thing? Oh, and his eating habits increase, but he's not gaining any weight because of his job profession. Um, he's very, very active <laughs> in his job. So, you know, it's like whatever he eats, you know, it, he just burns it off. So, no, he's not gaining weight with me. Pregnancy has you looking better than ever. I just told y'all how I feel so unpretty. So, that's definitely a no. This baby does not have your girl looking glamorous. Um, Your urine is a bright yellow in color. No, I was a dull color. So, that's a no. Your nose is spreading. Um, I can I have noticed it just a pinch that my nose has started to spread. But when I was pregnant with my daughter, y'all, my nose literally went across my face. Like I could not believe what I had transformed into by the time I got ready to deliver my daughter. So, y'all, that has been something that I have been terrified of <laughs> throughout this pregnancy is that nose spread. Because if my nose does this again, I'm not going to make it through these weekly vlogs with y'all. But I'm not going to want y'all to see me with this gargantuous nose. I'm not going to want my man looking at me. I'm going to want to walk around with a paper bag over my head. Like, legit. So, I pray every night that <laughs> my nose will just stay right here where it's at. It's, it's, it's quite large enough right here. Okay, y'all, two more questions. You are having headaches. Yes, I do have light headaches um, at least once a week. So, I would say that that is a point for teen boy. I have been experiencing headaches. And before pregnancy... I can't tell y'all the last time I had a headache. 
So I would definitely say that um, the baby is the reason for the headaches. And then the last one is the same question that was on the girls' questions, which was the added up. But this time, if you come out with an even number, then it's a boy. So y'all will have to be the ones in the comment section to tell me, is the number odd or is the number even? Because I'm second guessing myself at this point. But, um, you know, from like I said, from what I came up with, I would be definitely team girl. But if I did it wrong, then it goes over here to team boy. So I will wait for y'all in the comment section to tell me which side that point actually goes on. So um, add it all up. Let me know which way we came out. Who won? Was it team girl? Was it team boy? And let's chat it up down in the comment section because I definitely want to know regardless of whichever side was bigger i want to know what you think that i am having and then when i see you guys next week we will definitely know the scientific fact of what gender i am having okay i want to thank you so much for participating in this game with me i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next week Y'all, I'm so trash. Um, I did not get to write down three um, new suggestions for this week. I only wrote down one, and I remember it. That's because I fell asleep with the pen in my hand. So don't charge it to my heart. Charge it to my head and my tired body, okay? Um, so the only YouTuber shout-out that I have for this week is the Jacksons of Atlanta. Um... Yeah, that's the name of their channel, the Jacksons of Atlanta, and they are actually a um, that's a couple's channel. Um, they are a black family. It's the husband, the wife, and what makes their family so unique is they are on their third set of twins. So their channel is extremely entertaining, and you know you get to see how they interact with these young babies and they have to be so active and they always got something going on. And um, the thing that I really like about their channel is how the dad is so involved um, with the videos as well as the mom. Let me tell y'all something. It's nothing more irritating to me than to see a couple's channel, but it's only one person doing majority of the work. So you might have a couple's channel, and but you always see the husband or the boyfriend do a majority of the videos. And then every time, don't you start it. And then every time that they pan the camera on their significant other, they're just giving dry, laid back, what up, chilling. I don't like that. I want y'all to either match energies or take somebody's name off the channel. Don't say it's a couple's channel. Don't say it's a family channel. Just put your name there and, you know, you feature them every now and then. Because I, I feel like if you're going to be in it together, then be in it together. And so that's what I really like about the Jacksons of Atlanta is that they are definitely both in it together. Mom is energetic. Dad is energetic, and those children are definitely energetic. So hop on over there to the Jacksons of Atlanta. Drop down in the comment section. Tell them that P-Hope sent you over there. And don't forget to hit the like button once you get over there as well. And if you enjoy their content, of course, go on and subscribe. All right? So now that we got all that out the way, you already know. I want you to be happy, be healthy, be safe. This is your girl, P-Hope, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.